Hi, this is David with entry number uh, 838 uh, here on a Jalan Bukit Mira, Bukit Mira Street. Uh, went down to uh, Alexandra again today, which is uh, basically just an excuse to walk around IKEA and get get some food there. Um, I turned out to not get any food, but uh, I guess at this point. That shouldn't surprise anyone. Um, it's a bit of a walk, but it's actually a very nice walk because it's all flat and shaded. Um, unlike some areas where they get a bit hilly or you're stuck out in the in the sun for God knows how long. Um, it's a pretty decent walk. It's also, like I said before, littered with awesome food centers. And today I went into one called ABC Brickworks, which I mentioned before, and my God, I found fatty chungs, finally. Uh, it's supposedly the best uh, char siu or roasted uh, pork loin in Singapore. Uh, so, I'm gonna have to try that pretty soon, uh, which means another trip out to Ikea, um, which is pretty good, I guess. One of the interesting things, since I was there a little later than I was last time at the Ikea, is that there's a shitload of people that go there for like a business lunches. Uh, not like not like power lunches per se, but just you know like coworkers going to get lunch. It was really kind of interesting to to see so many people frequent it as like a food destination. But I suppose you know it is quite cheap. Uh, they had like three dollars specials where you get like a main and a side for three bucks, which is pretty darn cheap. Unfortunately, they only sell like it's like huge portion of. Swedish meatballs and potatoes. It's like it's like eight fifty. So it's kind of expensive, and it's like way way more food than I want to eat. Um, but they do sell that as well. Today, I uh, when I was at uh, ABC Brickworks, I already had eaten like three meals, so I didn't want to get the chashu, but I still wanted to eat something there. And it was actually a surprisingly good spread of uh, different food, and I found. Um, Xiaolongbao. Uh, Xiaolongbao is a, uh, uh, also, are also known as soup dumplings in English. And uh, man, so I bought, I bought earlier, uh, I bought some in Chinatown and they were like real crappy. Like uh, skins were thick and the soup was all chunky and full of like gristle and bones and stuff. But this one, $4 for six. And I'll be damned if they weren't uh, mighty delicious. Um, very tender, thin skins, but didn't pop when I tried picking them up with the chopsticks. And uh, very um, flavorful soup inside that didn't have any gristle. If you're not familiar, Xiaolongbao are steamed dumplings that uh, have like a, like a, what's called an aspic, or like a gel jellified stock. Uh, with meat um, and it's very good uh, they're very good they're typically quite expensive because they're somewhat labor-intensive to make and uh, yeah but uh, four dollars for six is pretty good for Singapore uh, they have a whole bunch of outlets of, uh, of a Taiwanese chain called uh, Din Tai Fung and uh, they're like really expensive at Din Tai Fung like like 15 or something for like nine but um really really much enjoy Xiaolong Bao but uh so so far it's been a very good day I'm heading back a bit earlier than I normally do because got a big another big group of people come in unfortunately by uh, Friday which is tomorrow um there's gonna be a uh, full hostel once again for the weekend and so I'm not really super looking forward to that but uh I suppose it is what it is you can't really fight it but uh, other than that, things are looking really good. We got a good crop of people at the hostel. No one too, uh, no one too crazy or uh, absurd. No one demanding stuff. It felt really weird uh, in the big room, which I've moved out of now. The uh, people there did not use the aircon last night, and I was like, "Who are these crazy people who can sleep without the aircon on?" And uh, it was really quite strange when I walked in there this morning didn't really smell awful, but it definitely smelled a bit funky because of everyone sweating during the night. 
But uh, other than that, pretty solid uh, time uh, currently. But uh, that's it for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk with you soon. Bye.